Welcome to the Metalist Show. Continuing on with our experiment of us just kind of switching off, it's my turn. So let's get this thing started. I have chosen Crucified Baraba. Yeah, that sounds about right. I have trouble pronouncing the name, but who gives a shit? It's a badass chick band. And these guys, well, these gals, I should say, bad fucking ass. Now, these guys, they have a fairly generic heavy metal sound, but it's badass, and they're all chicks. I give them a 7 out of 10. Not sure if that's for the music or if I'm just rating them. Pretty hot. Next up, I got Testament. <laughs> testament. Hey, Jared, good Testament. The Treatment. As you can see, I kind of screwed myself over on that one. But anyway, The Treatment and their album, This Might Hurt a Little. And it did to listen. To me, it was too generic, too mainstreamish. I, I, I'm a kind of folk medley type of guy, so I was rather bored. And to be honest, the only reason I listened to it, I just said I had to have six albums. So yeah, I am five out of ten. all that kind of generic mainstream of stuff I got something actually really cool never heard of these guys before and oh I'm so happy I've now learned of them Moonloop deeply from the earth never heard of these guys and this album never heard of it but it recently came out and whoo I was pleasantly surprised this album just awesome I can't really describe the music itself because so psychedelic, but yet it's thrashy and, well, I guess I'm describing it, thrashy, psychedelic, and kind of dark. It's kind of random as well, but I love random. I give these guys an 8 out of 10. I mean, pick it up. It's... <laughs> Personally, I've never heard of. I have my own little niche that I like to listen to. And doing this show, we pretty much have to open our eyes and ears to all sorts of stuff. And these guys, oh, I'm so glad we do this and I found these guys. Hexen. Oh, Hexen. Just, they're this thrashy, dark sounding band, and I love dark music. It's got kind of like a cradle of filth ish darkness to it but of course they're thrash metal so it's awesome these guys their album being and nothing it's just came out oh it's dark and i absolutely love it eight out of ten picked a lot of thrash this week. Nothing to complain about, nothing wrong with thrash. Ah, oh, thrash. So it always gets you into metal. For those of you that it did. Anyway, upcoming we got Dust Bolt's new album, Violent Demolition. Now, I haven't really listened to any Dust Bolt before, and so I did some research and I was liking what I was hearing. So the, all that's out right now to really hear from the new album is a YouTube sampler from Napalm Records. Anyway, just go check it out. It's I give it an 8 out of 10 right off the bat, just because it's awesome. I like the thrash Alright, ah, 
final album of the show, and oh, I'm so excited to do this one. Coming out in just two weeks, and oh, I just cannot wait. Corporal Connie's new album, Malala. Mal, I can't pronounce it, it's one of their words. Anyway, Corporal Connie, one of my absolute favorites. It's a two disc album, which is awesome. Disc one, me know. Disc two, it's the album again. But in English, surprisingly. Well, not surprisingly. They're multi uh, languaged. Anyway, so glad they're coming out with a new album. And so glad that I got to do this review. Is you want to do this review, but. <laughs> uh, suck it. Alright, well, that was this week's show. I think I picked a couple of really good bands. Two, well, one that I was really disappointed in. One, a little mainstream, but awesome nonetheless. Anyway, check us out on Facebook, The Metalness. Check, uh, follow us on Twitter. I'll get back to doing something with that. Don't really know how it works. And, well, comment below and tell us how I fucked up this week. Because I know, somewhere in the long lines, I fucked up. So much here, and not enough here anymore. Anyway, this is The Metalist. Moonloop, and their new album, Deeply Fuck My Ass.